We're very short of GPs on the island. My own GP is just closed, closing at the end of the month. I've not been allocated anywhere else yet, and I'm, of course, very concerned about that. Being on diabetic, and I accidentally cut one of my toes, I couldn't get locally anybody to look at it just for a few minutes. I've had to drive into Newport. We got in quite quickly because we had a child, but there are people who are saying they've been in, in the beacon a couple of hours or more, still waiting. I think waiting times are not too bad compared to the mainland. Some people have had bad experiences and occasionally it can be bad. I spent last year being treated for cancer and uh, I've come out of it um, uh, quite well and I, as I say I have nothing but praise for the way I was treated. Well, the situation both nationally and on the Isle of Wight is becoming increasingly difficult for the health and social care system. We've got pressures on our workforce, we need to work in new and um, different ways to face new and different health challenges and we've got uh, significant resource pressures as well across the whole of the system, both health and social care. The biggest challenge is that the, uh, the health and social care system needs to adapt to fit in with the new population requirements because we've been the same for years and the population expectations of course are different now. I think the biggest thing we face is having enough people to support uh, the system to provide that care and really looking at different ways where we can provide a quality of care that, that we can be comfortable with but doing it in a different way that allows us to manage with the, the limitations on the resources that we've got. Services for the future need to be much more people focused. Put the person at the heart of the services that we deliver and wrap our services around them in an integrated way so that organisations who are both delivering health and social care work together to make the, the, the person's journey seamless so they're looked after in the best possible way at times when they're feeling perhaps most vulnerable in their lives. This is about the island taking ownership of how we review things into the future. It's really important that when we look at things during the course of this year and undertake what is a, a major review of how we do things, that this isn't just the health service or doctors or, or, or the council reviewing this. This is very much the island having to take ownership of how things look in the future. We want to make sure that the service that we deliver is one that the people have had some contribution in, in devising for us so that we know that what they're getting is what they want. It's absolutely vital that we get people involved in this process. We're trying to design services for the future and services for the people on the island. So we need to know what people think. So we'll be holding public workshops, uh, focus groups, and there'll be plenty of opportunity for people to tell us their stories and experiences. This really is your chance to, to have a say and to have some ownership of how things look to the future, to have some confidence that the, the services we provide at the moment, which we're so proud of and work so well, will stay that way, uh, looking into an uncertain future. If people want to find out more information about how they can get involved in the health and social care redesign on the Isle of Wight, the best place to go is to check out the My Life of Full Light website, where with the details of all sorts of opportunities in the future to engage with this vital process.